Time to look at grams and kilograms and what they mean. What they mean is simple. Grams and kilograms tell us how heavy something is. If you were to hold it in your hand and describe how heavy it is, grams and kilograms help us do so. How heavy is a gram though? How much is it? Well, I want you to imagine this. You know those little spoons that you stir tea with? They're really tiny spoons. Well, imagine you fill it a half or a third of the way. Not a lot of sugar. Just pour a little bit of sugar in it and then pour the sugar in your hand. That's how much a gram weighs. Approximately that much. It's not very heavy. Now, as for a kilogram, I want you to imagine this. Not any milk carton, not the two or the four liters, just those skinny one liter cartons. That's a pretty good estimate to one kilogram. Again, not very heavy, but much heavier than this. Would a watermelon have a mass of three grams or three kilograms? I'm a very visual guy and I learn best that way. So I want to show you a visual, a visual explanation. Do you think a watermelon would weigh the same as three grams, which is three of these spoons? Because each one is one, 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 so that's three grams. Or would it weigh the same as three milk cartons, which is one kilogram, one kilogram, one kilogram? How about a cherry? Would it have a mass of five grams or five kilograms? Again, here's a visual explanation. Here's five grams. Pour all the sugar in your hand. Hold these milk cartons. <laughs> it's pretty clear. I think it's going to be... How about the cabbage? Is it going to have a mass of 2 grams or 200 grams? Now notice this one isn't kilograms, it's grams. They're both grams. So this is kind of like 2 teaspoons of sugar filled halfway, poured into your hand. Would that weigh as much as a cabbage? Or would 200 teaspoons filled halfway, poured into your hand, weigh as much as that cabbage? Well, 200, that's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. But which one makes more sense about you know, holding the cabbage and, and, and comparing it to these two. I think, I think that 200 grams would make more sense. Two grams is nothing. Like you can barely, you can hardly feel it in your hand. All right, here's the next thing we got to understand is that 1,000 grams, 1,000 grams is one kilogram. They're the same thing. So if you take 1,000 teaspoons, you fill them halfway with sugar or a third of the way with sugar, you just put a little bit of sugar in 1,000 teaspoons. That's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. But you pour all those into a jar and then you compared it with a milk carton, they're going to weigh about the same amount. Okay, and now let's apply it to this problem. If this apple weighs 200 grams, let's underline that because that's important. Always underline your information. How many apples will you need to weigh one kilogram? Well, we just learned that one kilogram is a thousand grams. So I'm going to write a thousand grams under here so that grams and grams are the same. Otherwise, we're going to get confused. We're like, oh, grams and kilograms. Oh, my head hurts. Okay, just cha here, cancel it out. Just write a thousand grams. Now it's easy. So we're going to write 200 grams below this one and ask us how many apples. It says how many apples. So let's add another apple. That's going to be what? Another 200. So that means we have 200 and 200 makes 400. But we want to get up to 1,000 grams. We want to get up to 1,000. So it means we're not there yet. We got to keep going. So let's add another apple. That's another 200. So that's... 600 now, 200, 200, 200 is 600. We're going to add another apple because we're not done yet. So that's going to take us to 800. Let's put 200 here, 200 G, so 200 grams. And then we're going to add one more apple and it's going to make how much? Another 200 and there's going to be two, four, six, eight, a thousand grams. We're there, a thousand grams. So how many apples? One, two, three, four, five, five apples. Again, review, a thousand grams is a kilogram. They're the same thing. Which two objects below will have a combined mass? Combined means plus of one kilogram. Now, these are all grams. This is kilograms like, oh, my head. Okay, fix it. So it's just asking us which two have a combined mass of a thousand. So basically add them up and see which ones are a thousand. How about the apple in the shoe? Here's the apple. It's 350. So I'm going to write 350. And the shoe is 650. Look what happens if I add them. I get 0 plus 0. I get 5 plus 5 is 10. I carry the 1. 3 and 1 is 4 and 6 is 10. Look at that. 1,000 grams. We're done. If you were to click the other two. No! 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 Of course you check it and make sure. Are you ready? If this avocado has a mass of 250 grams, how many avocados will have a mass of 2 kilograms? 
Oh, it sounds confusing. Don't worry about it. Look, two kilograms. We don't like kilograms. Let's change it. We're, we're going to change it. We know one kilogram is a thousand. So two kilograms must be two thousand. Just write it in. Cancel this one. Now they're both grams and it's much simpler. So let's see here. We have one avocado is 250. Another avocado is another 250. 250 and 250 is 500. Right? You can just stack the numbers and add them if, if, if you need to. Add another one is 750. And another one is 1,000. It's like skip counting by 25s, which we have a lesson for, and you've learned it already. You know how to count by 25s. Count them by 250s is the same thing, because look, 25. So you're just going to say 250 and 250. That's like saying 25 and 25 is 50, but then add a zero to make 500. Get it? Add another 250. That's like 25, 50, 75, and then add a zero at the end. You get 750. And another 250. Look at that. We get 1,000. Now we're going to do this. We're going to, because we're not there yet, we need 2,000. So we're going to make a one here, one there, and we're just going to put another four. So these four make 1,000. These four are going to make 1,000. Now we have 2,000 grams. You see, and I can write 250s under all of them and then add them all up and I'll get, I'll get 2,000. So I've got four and four. How many avocados? Eight avocados will have a mass of two kilograms. How about this car? What about this car? Would a car have a mass of a thousand grams or a thousand kilograms? Well, probably a thousand grams. Right? I'm sure you're thinking, oh, okay, Mr. Melman, it's a thousand grams. A thousand kilograms is a lot of weight. Well, you know what? That's a big car. I mean, cars are heavy things. They, they weigh a lot. And a thousand grams sounds like a lot, but really, we know what a thousand grams is. It's a kilogram. And what's a kilogram? It's a milk carton. <laughs> so a car doesn't weigh as much as a milk carton, clearly. It's a thousand kilograms. We have two more questions. Which two items, I've got to underline things, so we need two items. We'll have a combined, okay, so I need to plus, combined mass that is closest to one kilogram. Combined mass closest to one kilogram. Oh, no, kilogram again. These are all grams. Don't worry. Just scratch kilograms. Turn it into grams. It's a thousand grams. And now just uh, add the items up. So we have, what do we have here? We have apple and cup. And we just want closest. We don't want exactly 1,000. We want closest. So we're going to take the apple and the cup. Let's add them. Here's the apple. Here's the cup. 350 and 200. Okay, that's easy. 0 and 0. 5 and 0. 2 and 3 is 5. We get 550. That's pretty close to 1,000. Let's see if we can get closer. We have the apple and the truck. We have 425 for the truck. And the apple is 200. If I add these together, I'm going to get 5, 2, 6. So I get 625. And it's always important, guys. Put that G for grams after it. 550 grams, 625 grams. And then we have a cup and truck. So we have a cup here. We have the truck there. Let's add them. 425, 350. I'm going to go 5 and 0 is 5. This makes 7. And this makes 7. 775 grams which is the closest not these two no 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 but the third one that's it 775 is the closest yes thank you 775 is the closest to a thousand and the last question guys I'm gonna underline important things how much more sounds like plus not quite how much more always means takeaway. Go back to the subtraction lessons and I've explained it in more depth there. How much more always means takeaway. How much more does the truck weigh compared to the cup? Here's the truck. Here's the cup. How much more? We're going to take away. Big number first. 425. Take away 350. We're going to subtract. We're going to get 5. 2 take away 5. Wait a minute. I've got a clean one here. Haha. <laughs> You're going to use this one instead. So 5 take away 0 is 5. Two take away five. Can't do that. You got to borrow. That becomes three. This becomes a 12. 12 take away five is seven. Three take away three is zero. So I've got 75 grams. The truck weighs 75 grams more than the truck. The truck should be more than the cup. That should say cup. 